Peter, John. I just got an update from uh, Greg Walden, uh, who's chairing our transition effort on uh, the progress uh, that they're making. I want to thank uh, Greg uh, for all of his hard work. Uh, this is really important because uh, we've got to fix the Congress so that the Congress can focus in on Americans' priorities. Uh, and their priorities are pretty straightforward. Uh, that's the Pledge to America. That is our plan uh, because the American people want the uncertainty to go away uh, so that we can begin uh, to create jobs uh, in America. And when you look at uh, our plans uh, to reduce spending, uh, to get the economy going again, and uh, to repeal the health care law uh, that, frankly, gets in the way of job creation, uh, you can see that we've got an awful lot of work to do. Uh, but I'm uh, pleased that uh, Greg is chairing uh, uh, the Transition Committee. As you know, uh, he's been uh, kind of my go-to guy here over the last year. And everything I've given him, he's done a great job. Greg? Thank you. Thank you. It's all yours. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, um, thank you very all much. Them. It's all them. Um, you know, I think we got off to a really good start in the transition team. As many of you know, we, uh, we had a couple-hour meeting Monday night in uh, Leader Boehner's office. We got a good presentation uh, from different folks about the issues here and how we can make this place more open, more accessible to the public. It is the public's business, by the way. And that is, that, that's a statement I'm, I'm giving out to everybody on the transition team. Remember, this is the public's business that we're doing. How do we open it up? How do we make it more accessible? How do we bring the public in? How do we return this government back to the people? How do we reform this process? How do we get at the cost savings we all know can be achieved here? How do we improve the efficiencies? How do we make, how do we fix broken cameras? How do we... <laughs> How do we do the things that you would reform if you were in charge? So let's start and build a, a house that works for the people, because this is the people's house. We're, we're also putting a lot of ideas out there, and I want you all to understand that. My, uh, having been a small business owner for over 20 years, when I face a problem, I ask all my people who I work with in the company, how do you fix it? Let's throw them all up there and debate them and talk about it. It doesn't mean every idea is the one you go with, but I want to create the atmosphere where we can have legitimate brainstorming, where we can really look at these issues and resolve them uh, in a really positive way. And by the way, take, care of, take, take advantage of modern technology. Wouldn't it be great if you could use modern technology so you didn't have 200 copies of every single amendment in a bill, but everybody could maybe see it online in real time, including the members? I don't know if we can get there tomorrow or next week or a year from now, but we should invite in the people who can help us decide that and actually implement new technology into this facility. So wherever you are in America, you can watch your business being done and maybe help us do that business better. Mr. 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 Leader, what's on your agenda Mayor? next week, Mr. President? What's on your agenda for your next week's meeting, Mr. President? Have a nice conversation, figure out how we make uh, all of the current tax rates uh, permanent so we can help end the uncertainty that's stopping employers uh, from hiring more people, uh, talk about how we can reduce spending. I think it's important that we reduce spending to pre-bail out pre-stimulus levels. Mr. Mayor, on the issue, report that federal employees, the number of federal employees may be more than I've uh, believe strongly, and if you look at the Pledge to America, uh, we say that there ought to be a freeze on, on the hiring of new federal employees, and frankly, we ought to freeze the pay. Uh, it's, uh, it's gotten to a point where the average federal worker makes twice as much as the average, average private sector worker. Mr. Mayor, we know, we know, of course, your preference is to make all the tax cuts permanent, but going into the meeting with the President, are you willing to compromise to get something done, particularly compromise on making those for the highest tax brackets, extending that only temporarily? I've only said this about 500 times, and I'm going to say it one more time. I think extending all of the current tax rates and making them permanent uh, will reduce the uncertainty in America and help small businesses begin to create jobs again. You can't, you can't invest when you don't know what the rules are, when you don't know what the tax rates are going to be next year. Uh, and that's why uh, making these permanent would be the most important thing we could do to help create jobs in the country. No, 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 no. Have you uh, spoken to the Sergeant Office to work out more security arrangements in terms of travel? I know that this was an issue when uh, we had the last trans uh, transfer of power. Is that something that you've had is that discussion? How you're going to get back and forth in your district and uh, around the country? Well, I have talked uh, to our security folks about uh, the security that's involved in my new role. Uh, but over the last 20 years, 
Uh, I have flown back and forth uh, to my district on the commercial aircraft, and I'm going to continue to do that. Mr. Bader, every new majority says they're going to do something, run the House differently. Can you tell us about your commitment and how we can judge that in a year's time? Well, I gave a speech uh, in late September, early October, over at the American Enterprise Institute, uh, where I laid out exactly how I intend to run the House. It needs to be more open, it needs to be more transparent, and it needs to be more accountable. Uh, and you will see uh, from day one uh, that I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Thanks, everybody. Thank